That is something that Harmony and Hope will never be able to do. The church is going to be torn down. We'll always love you, Charity. If you love me, why are you doing this? It's over. When do you want to get married? It's important we don't drag our past behind us. I let you be dragged into captivity by this monster. We are family. All right, Greenleaf fans, uh, I just feel like each week they're dropping more and more Greenleaf content. I mean, it's enough for me to try to keep up with if loving you is wrong, the oval, ruthless, and bruh. But then they're throwing in either a Greenleaf trailer every week or they're throwing in like a mini interview with different characters about their journey throughout Greenleaf. I think we've already had one on May and Grace, so we'll probably get one on Bishop or Jacob uh, later this week. I don't know, but the trailer you just saw pretty much showed us various scenes for what's to come. And when it comes to Greenleaf trailers, we typically see mostly the characters reacting to something. And then you have overarching dialogue. And I think that most of the dialogue in this trailer came from Bishop when he's talking with May or when May's talking to Bishop. Now, uh, we started off with Bishop saying that these sheep need a shepherd and that's something harmony and hope will never be able to do you know as we see you know like bob whitmore uh, in the church and then we have you know um grace and bishop standing in the pulpit you know when she's saying the church is going to be torn down you also have F stank phil and wishy-washy charity i will always love you charity if you love me why are you doing this like for real for real um phil like I don't even know if I'll ever speak to Charity again. I mean, after what happened, because of the fact that you propose one night, the night before, then you have sex. Then the very next day, you come over to make May's face crash to the floor, saying that, oh, instead of you, Bob's chosen me to run the church. And then you go upstairs to talk with Charity to say the wedding's off because you're going to be with Judy. So, like I did a video on her way back, what if Charity's pregnant? I don't know. I don't know. But then again, I don't know how soon you can figure... Look, I don't know how soon you can figure out you're pregnant after having sex. I don't know. But all I'm saying is I'm interested to know who's going to initiate the conversation between Phil and Charity. And then we go over to Jacob saying it's over. I think it's Carissa is, you know, packing her bags to move out. We also have Bishop talking to May about when do you want to get married? And she's looking a bit concerned in her face because it's interesting that dialogue came right after Jacob it's over as Carissa's leaving I believe we also see Zora looking at a picture of her family and it looks like she's crying because she probably found out about what's going on for parents and she's reacting accordingly uh we also yeah this trailer has a lot of people in tears you know like Grace towards the very end is in tears and somebody's screaming help me so I have no idea who is screaming help me um, and we have May talking to Bishop. It's important that we don't drag our past behind us. And then he takes it over by saying, I'll let you be dragged into captivity by this monster. So I wonder if that has anything to do in reference to uh, what Carissa got from Fernando in regards to how the green leaf got to own their home. Hmm. Interesting to think about. And then, of course, the trailer ends with May saying we are family. But some noticeable cameos in this trailer. We see AJ for a split section, second. We see Sophia, Grace, and I believe Jacob upset about something. Uh, you have Charity crying, as always, but I think this has to do with Phil. But then you also have, T I believe, and you correct me if I'm wrong, it looks like Jacob is knocking on the door and Tasha answers it. And I don't believe we've seen her for quite a while and then we also have a brief scene where i think grace is um in someone's office and i believe it is mr rick fox aka darius so yeah we're, go we're going to see some uh, old familiar faces in this final season uh one noticeable person i didn't notice at all in the trailer noah because remember at the end of like season four episode like three he called grace saying you know hey me and my wife had a falling out over the fact that charity um left that voicemail and yeah so i'm moving back to tennessee and it's like well dude we waited the entire we waited like seven more episodes and you ain't even show up so we'll have to wait and see what happens as we get into this final season but uh overall I i'm excited and we're, we're probably going to get more trailers the closer we get to june 23rd but uh with that being said i've already recorded a video about the greenleaf spinoff 
So make sure you check out that video to get my thoughts on that. But before closing the video, you know the drill. Make sure you subscribe to the channel if you are new. Hit the bell notification icon. That way you don't miss out on any new content. I'd highly advise hitting the bell because of the fact that it seems like we're getting more and more news on various television shows that I review. So you want to be kept up to date and follow me on Instagram specifically uh, due to the fact that number one, we need less than 100 people to hit 20,000 followers. And number two, well, I post a lot of stuff on there too that sometimes doesn't make it to YouTube until later. Usually Instagram posts go up first and also... I just created a $1 tier on Patreon. You can join my Patreon for as little as $1 a month. Yes, there are other tiers, but I figured not everyone could donate five or 10 or not even two or three dollars, but I figured a dollar would be appropriate just so you can just pay $12 a year. And remember, it's $1 a month, $1 a month. And you get free content over there you don't get on YouTube just to you know entice you. But just keep in mind, like if I get uh, at least 100 patrons, that would be fantastic. That's like an extra $100 a month I can use to keep the lights on. I can use to get a new laptop, which I'm still saving up for, and a new iPod since my screen cracked. So I can do more live streams. That's why I haven't live streamed as much because that crack is, uh, yeah, it's getting pretty big. So with that being said, make sure uh, you tune in for more content. Trust me, it is on the way, and I'll talk to you all in the next video.